Today we're making this tiny strawberries charm that can be used to decorate things like a bag, a car, or headphones. And these strawberries are small enough that they don't need any stuffing. You'll need red, green, and yellow yarn. And this is medium weight acrylic, but any yarn should work. I'll be using a 4mm crochet hook, which is smaller than recommended, so it's stiffer and less holy. And you also need scissors and a yarn needle or a smaller hook. First, we'll make the leaves. So let's grab our green yarn and make a magic ring. To make a magic ring, place the yarn over the palm of your hand with the tail end at the bottom. Then hold the yarn down with your thumb and grab the yarn from the top and wrap it around two fingers to form an X. And I'll use my pinky to hold onto the yarn. Then use your hook to go under one side of the X then over the other side, grab it and pull it through. Then use your right hand to grab the yarn and pull it off your fingers. And here is your magic ring. Now we'll use our left hand to hold the working yarn and to make sure the magic ring doesn't come undone. My ring is a little big so we can pull on this end to make it smaller so it's easier to work with. Then we'll chain three to chain yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. And here's your first chain. Again, yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. Then we'll do that one more time and we should have three chains. Now we're going to skip this first chain and do a slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. To do a slip stitch, insert your hook into the second chain, just the top loop of that V Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And here's our first slip stitch. And we'll do another slip stitch in the next chain. Again, insert your hook into the top loop of the next chain. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Then we'll do a slip stitch into the magic ring. So we'll insert our hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And now we're going to repeat that. So chain three again. And we're going to do a slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Then one into the next chain. then one into the magic ring. And we're going to chain three and do that four more times for a total of six times. Once we're done, it should look like this. And we can pull on this loose end to close the circle, but don't pull too hard. Make sure there's still a little hole in the middle. Now we can fasten off by chaining one cutting our yarn, pulling through with our hook, and tightening the knot. And here is the first leaf part of the strawberry. Now we'll make another one of those, but pause before fastening off. If you want to rewatch how I make it, I have the timestamps labeled in the description. So now I have two of the leaves, one with the yarn cut and another with the yarn still attached. Now we're going to chain the length of the charm that we want. I made it 27 centimeters long and it was 60 chains. Now we'll slip stitch to the other leaf by inserting our hook into the center Yarning over, pulling through, and pulling through the loop on our hook. Now we'll fasten off again by cutting our yarn, pulling through with our hook, and tightening the knot. And we'll also pull all three loose ends down through the center of the leaf towards the back. Now let's start on the strawberry. We'll make another magic ring. Then we'll chain one and we're going to do 
eight single crochets into the magic ring. To do a single crochet, insert your hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through. Now you should have two loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through the two loops. To do another single crochet, insert your hook back into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. Now do that six more times until we have a total of eight single crochets. Now that we have eight single crochets, we can close the ring by pulling on this loose end. But again, don't pull too tight. I pulled it too tight here, but I fix it later on. Now make sure that the loose end is pulled to the back, not the front, and we can slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. So here's the first single crochet we made, and we'll insert a hook under the V at the top of this stitch. And complete our slip stitch and pull it tight. And we'll slip stitch at the end of every round. At the start of every round, we'll chain one. And for round two, we'll increase in every stitch. So that means we'll do two single crochets into each stitch. Our first stitch is the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. So insert your hook back under that V and do a single crochet. Then we'll put another single crochet into that same space. Now we should have two single crochets into the first stitch. And now we'll move on to the next stitch and we'll put two single crochets into this stitch as well. So here is our first one. Then our second one into that same stitch. And we're going to repeat that by putting two single crochets into every single stitch. At the end of round two, we should have a total of 16 stitches and we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. Again, it's the V at the top of the first single crochet we made in this round. And again, it's the start of the next round, so we'll chain one. And for round three, we're going to put one single crochet into each stitch. So again, the first stitch is the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. Then we'll move on to the next stitch and put just one single crochet into it. And we'll do that all the way around and slip stitch at the end. And you should still have 16 stitches in your third round. Now we're going to pause and attach the leaf to the top. You can do either leaf, but I'll show you how to do it with the three loose ends. Insert your hook from the inside of the strawberry and out the top. Then pull through all three loose ends. Then find the loose end that will close the magic ring by tugging each of them to see if the ring closes. Then pull it tight and tie it with the red loose end. And again, pull it tight to close both magic rings and then double knot it again. And we're going to leave these loose ends to be hidden inside the strawberry. To continue our strawberry, we'll work the fourth round. For this round, we're going to chain one and decrease every third stitch. So first we'll do a single crochet in the first stitch. Then we'll do one into the next stitch. And then we'll decrease. To decrease, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Then insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Now you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops to combine the two stitches into one. Then we'll repeat that. We'll do one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then we'll decrease. Again, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Then insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You should have three loops on your hook. 
Yarn over and pull through all three loops to combine the two stitches into one. Then we will repeat that pattern two more times and we should reach the end. Now we can slip stitch and you should have 12 stitches in this round. The next round will chain one and will decrease every second stitch. So for this one, we'll do one single crochet and in the next, we'll do a decrease. Then we'll do one single crochet, then a decrease. And we'll do that one more time and slip stitch. And now we should have eight stitches. For our last round, we'll do a decrease four times and end with four stitches. And the last slip stitch can be difficult to reach, so you can pull on your hook to loosen the loop, then do your slip stitch. and hold the yarn with your left hand and pull the back loop on your hook tight. Finally, we can fasten off by chaining one, cutting our yarn, pulling with our hook and tightening the knot. And we can pull this loose end into the strawberry to hide it. And I'll use a smaller hook to hide it. This one is 2.75 millimeters. I'll go into the top and out the point on the bottom Grab the loose end and pull it to the inside of the strawberry. The last part of this project is adding on the seeds. We'll cut our pale yellow yarn about a foot long and we're going to split the yarn to make it thinner. So I'm using a 4-ply yarn and I'll split it into two strands of 2-ply and we're going to use one strand for each strawberry. To attach the yarn, I'll use my smaller hook just to make it a little easier. We're going to insert our hook under a stitch from the bottom and out the top and pull our yellow yarn through. Then we'll tie a double knot and make sure one end is short. And we'll pull the shorter end to hide in the strawberry and hide the knot on the inside. And we'll use the longer end to make the seeds. And now we can decide where our next seed will go. And for me, this part is easier with a yarn needle, so I'll switch to that. So thread the yarn through the needle and we're going to stagger two or three seeds vertically along the strawberry. When we do our last seed, we can pull the yarn out to the same space it came from and tie a knot. Then pull the loose end into the strawberry to hide it. Now we can shape the strawberry by flattening the top and pointing the bottom. And here is the finished strawberry. We'll do this one more time to attach to the other leaf. And we're done with the strawberry's charm. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like and comment and subscribe if you did. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.